Hi guys, uh, this is my contest entry for Infamous Killers contest. Um, never done one of these before. I mean, I make videos all the time and stuff. I've never entered a contest though. Um, I don't know. I just kind of got bored and it seemed like a cool idea, so I'm gonna go over my reef tank. Um, let's see, first off, it's about three and a half or four months old. Most of the livestock I've had for about a year. I just upgraded the tank from a 29 that I didn't have a sump on or anything. Um, I did all of this delivering, or off of, you know, the money from delivering pizzas after paying my rent and everything, so... I mean, honestly, this might look expensive. I really did not spend very much money on anything. I mean, the single most expensive part of my tank probably would be my Vortec MP10 pump. They go for... 240 bucks. Um, my local fish store gave it to me for free because I watched over the store for a few days while he was um, moving. So I did the overflow box myself and drilled the tank myself. Um, let's see, go back to the. Sorry, my room's a mess. I gotta get around everything. Uh, the sump back here. I did this all myself again. Um, it's a 20 gallon long. I uh, got the hoses going down in there. Sorry, it's hard to get back there. Uh, it goes over into the protein skimmer. This is a Nautilus TE um, turbo eduction skimmer. It's supposed to be rated for like 150 gallons. So, I mean, it does it does pretty good. Um, got my little refugium down here, and I just have a Maxi Jet 1200 for my return pump right now. I need to. I'm either gonna upgrade it or get a bigger one, but. It's not quite enough turnover for the tank, but I mean, everything's doing fine. Um, livestock. Everything in here is really easy to care for. Um, I guess also I've got a 150-watt uh, 14K Phoenix double-ended metal halide bulb with two 14-watt T5 460 actinics, and these ones right here are just T8. 420 actinics. Um, I think they look better than the 460s. It's the fixture is from Odyssey. I have had no problems with it whatsoever. I've had it for almost a year. 100 bucks for a metal halide. I mean, you can't beat that. The only complaints I had were the bulbs. Um, in my opinion, the acti actinics kind of look like crap, and they're a weird size, so you can only get them from Odyssey, and they only have 10k or these actinics. So whatever. And I replaced the bulb with a better one but uh, let's see here let's start at this end uh, my clove polyps are really mad right now my rose bubble tip and anemone kind of rolled over the top of them recently so I moved them over here they seem to be coming back it's my green bubble tip anemone I've had him for almost a year he completely avoids direct light and everything that's why he still looks like he's kind of bleached uh, galaxy coral that one's doing pretty good my Zinnia's going nuts. A lot of people don't like it, but I pretty much just, you know, I mean, it's mostly softies in this tank. I don't mind. I keep them in check, so. Uh, there's my Zoa Garden. Red and green ones there mixed up. Uh, radioactive Dragon Eye Zoas. Fuzzy Mushrooms. I don't know what kind of Zoas these are called, but I don't know. I kind of like them. They have more color than in the video, so. Uh, here's my Elegance Coral. I got it from a local reefer who has had his, the um, mother coral, he's had it for years, so I didn't have to worry about that crazy disease they've been getting during shipping. A uh, little piece of blue sponge, I've had that for a few months, it's doing good. I just got these uh, purple and green chunks of Monopora for free. I don't know if I would have risked buying them and putting them in here, but they seem to be doing good, so... He also gave me, uh, there's a little another chunk of green Monopora there, and a red one. Uh, here's my big toadstool, that thing's doing good. My rose bubble anemone. He started wandering around the tank since I put the MP10 in there, but it was to be expected, so I'm just trying to keep everything away from him. I might have to move my toadstool. It's just on a rock, though. It's not actually attached to the big one, so I can move it easy. Uh, green star polyps. These two right here, I just 
fragged off the other day, so they're still not too happy, but they seem to be doing good. Oh, a little hammer, hammer coral there. These brown buttons have been... I don't know, they've been, seems like they've been dying and coming back for months now. There's nothing wrong with the water, so I don't know what their problem is. Cabbage coral, a bunch of purple mushrooms. Uh, my frog spawn. Here's some anthelia. I bought that, I want to say about a month ago, and it's probably doubled in size already, so I'm probably going to have to frag that stuff a bunch, but that's cool. I like it. My big Kenya tree. Um, fish. I've got two of the blue, or uh, blue-green chromises. Uh, my sailfin tang. He's only about two and a half inches right now. I am not going to keep him in a three-foot tank forever, so... Please, no tang police. He's doing good right now. I've got a 90 that I'm going to set up as soon as I move. He's probably going to go in there, so... Uh, my tomato clown. I kind of want to get him out of here, too. He's not the nicest guy in the world. Oh, let's see what else. Oh, I've got my cleaner shrimp over here. He's he's over a year old. I've had him forever. I really like that guy. Oh, my little purple firefish. I like him. Oh, let's see. I've got a black cap jawfish that's down in there somewhere. Oh, there he is. I like that guy. He never leaves his cave, but he's really cool. Uh, let's see what else. There's my Midas Blenny. Sorry he's not out swimming around right now, but the lights just came on about an hour ago, so everybody's still kind of waking up. And then I have a red scooter Blenny in there somewhere, but I don't see him, so. Yeah, um. If for some reason I left something out from the contest, uh, let me know. I guess if anything, if there was anything I would change with this tank, I wish I would have done a deeper sand bed. And I would like to get this same fixture again. It's 18 inches. I think it's like 17 and a half inches. The tank is three feet. So I could get two of them over it. It does fine, it's just the corners are kind of dark and stuff. I mean, if I added another one, it'd be better, but... Anyways, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Have a good one.